Judges chapter 2 Then an angel of the Lord went up from Gilgal to Bachim and said, I brought you up from Egypt and led you to the land that I promised to your fathers. I said, I will never break my covenant with you. But you shall make no covenant with the inhabitants of this land. You shall tear down their altars. Yet you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? So I also said, I will not drive them out before you. They will become thorns in your sides, and their gods will be a snare to you. When the angel of the Lord spoke these words to all the Israelites, the people lifted up their voices and wept. They named that place Bachim, and there they offered sacrifices to the Lord. After Joshua had dismissed the people, the Israelites went to take possession of the land, each to their own inheritance. The people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua, those who had witnessed all the great works the Lord had done for Israel. Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of one hundred and ten. They buried him within his inheritance in timnath in the hill country of Ephraim, north of Mount Gash. Afterward, that entire generation was gathered to their ancestors, and another generation arose after them who did not know the Lord or the works he had done for Israel. The Israelites did evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baals. They abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt. They followed other gods from the gods of the peoples around them, and they bowed down to them, provoking the Lord to anger. They abandoned the Lord and served Baal and the Ashtoreths. So, the Lord's anger burned against Israel, and he handed them over to marauders who plundered them. He sold them into the hands of their enemies around them, and they could no longer stand against their enemies. Wherever they went, the Lord's hand was against them, bringing disaster, as the Lord had warned and sworn to them. They were greatly distressed. Yet the Lord raised up judges, who delivered them from the hand of those who plundered them. But they did not listen to their judges. Instead, they prostituted themselves with other gods, bowing down to them. They quickly turned from the way of their fathers, who had obeyed the Lord's commandments. They did not do as their fathers did. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge and delivered them from the hands of their enemies while the judge was still alive. For the Lord was moved to pity by their groaning because of those who oppressed and afflicted them. But when the judge died, the people turned back and became more corrupt than their fathers, going after other gods to serve them and bow down to them. They did not give up their practices or their obstinate ways. The Lord's anger burned against Israel, and he declared, Because this nation has violated my covenant that I made with their fathers and disobeyed my voice. I will no longer drive out before them any of the nations Joshua left when he died. I will use them to test Israel and see whether they will keep the way of the Lord and walk in it as their fathers did. So the Lord left these nations, not driving them out immediately. He did not hand them over to Joshua.